Hey everybody, this is John, and welcome to the free video. So it's kind of interesting right now. You got a lot of people nervous about the market, yada, yada, yada. And of course, the NASDAQ today exploded higher, over 100 points higher. And I just keep watching that put-call ratio. This thing has been the most, uh, the 10-day moving average of the put-call ratio. This thing has been the most reliable indicator um, I've seen in a long time in terms of calling these bigger swing moves. When it gets down here, everybody's long puke. When it gets down here, everybody's long puke. All right. When it gets up here, everybody's short, reverse puke. When it gets up here, everybody's short, reverse puke. All right. So now, um, you know, we got back down here, and then all of a sudden everybody's short, and now you can see that we're rallying, and the put call ratio, it's still going higher. Hugely bullish, okay? People are shorting this rally, and they are getting their teeth kicked in and will continue um, to do so. And so for the NASDAQ on this weekly chart, uh, well, that's actually not a weekly chart. Let's change that to a weekly chart. And you can see here the squeeze, which had lost momentum for a week, here actually grabbed that momentum back. So this is still a valid squeeze. You need two a loss of two bars in a row. One two seven two extension here at seventy five twenty one. One of our favorite trades here has been Amazon. Um, huge 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 moves in this. Um, it's hard to you know when you've got a stock and it's up forty dollars in a day. It doesn't get much better than that. And of course, big moves here in Google and a lot of the these tech stocks that are just now breaking out. And you can see here in Google that the stock is on the cusp of new highs. I think it may have printed new highs here, but either way, uh, this thing is due for a short covering rally as well. And you might think, oh my gosh, this thing has gone so high. But when you get something like this, you get a reverse panic. People are now panicked to get into uh, the market like this. So a, a lot of people have had, you know, frustrations or confusion with the current market because it's like, oh my God, what is this thing doing? Is it random? And I, you know, I want to point out a couple of things here. So Tesla is a good example. It's like, okay, this thing's down, it's going to be crushed and then it rallies. And, and so, so what's going on there? And if you understand some of the cycles that are at work here, I mean, this stuff is, is pretty clean for lack of a better word. And so what happens is a lot of this stuff moves in symmetrical cycles. So you can see here, down for 29 weeks, down for 29 weeks, down for, in this case, for 32 weeks, but close, then down for 28 weeks. And when you see something like this, and then you get um, a combination of a symmetrical move, a proven symmetrical move into timing and support, these have been the biggest trades of the year on a consistent basis. Um, and if you're, so I'll show you a couple of other examples here too, where we have, uh, here's crude oil. Okay. So it's like crude oils, and this is one we've been trading pretty aggressively. It's like, okay, well it's coming down hard and, and the news is suddenly bad and this thing's going to puke. And then all of a sudden, not only does it rally hard, but you notice that it peters out right here and then rolls over in craters, right? And so what's going on there? And again, it's the same thing when you get symmetrical moves into support with timing for a low. And then you can see here it came right up into the target. And pe Now these are, pre these are all here in advance. It's not like you put these on after the fact. You're using these levels to get in, and then you've already got the projection there. But it's the whole key is when you combine that uh, symmetrical moves into support in this case, because obviously it's an uptrend, opposite if it's a downtrend, with timing, these have been consistently um, the best moves that we've seen of the year. And even the shorter term moves where you get something like this, where it's like, okay, here's Netflix on a daily chart, and like right here, it's like, okay, it's starting to come down, and is, you know, right here, is this, is this tradable, or is it going to come down to the 21 EMA? Well, in some of these stocks too, like the Netflixes of the world, you can do the same thing on a 15 minute chart and say, okay, well, here's a gap up, and here's a symmetrical move, okay, into, you guessed it, timing, and boom. And it's a huge, huge intraday move that's great for trading options. All right, so if you are not uh, familiar with this or you'd like to get familiar with it, then um, I highly recommend this ongoing course that's happening right now, and it's called the Summer Fibonacci Series. Now, here's the deal with this. 
I have talked to thousands of traders, obviously over the course of the last, you know, couple years, uh, decade that I've been doing this. And here is the one thing, uh, I guess that, you know, because you don't really know in the beginning, like, okay, here's all these different strategies and, you know, what works for one person doesn't work for the other one. But the one thing that has been most consistent in the people who say they are now consistent is that they added Fibonacci tools like these to their trading. Now, what happens is people think of Fibonacci, they're like, oh, here's the high, there's the low, and here's the 382 and the 5.50 and the 618, and that's it. That's only 5% of Fibonacci. You've also got to understand symmetry. You've got to understand um, timing, and you've got to understand clusters. Okay, I don't know why those are just lines there, but when you have all that, you have the complete package, and you can make a living off symmetry alone. But if you have this tool in your toolbox, essentially it forces discipline, it forces high probability entries, and it complements any other strategy that you can do. So if you're interested in this, if you come to this, simplertrading.com forward slash summer, now you're going to see something different because this class is done. Okay, and if you come to this, you'll see, I think the next one now is with Henry. Um, but the idea is that you can buy these classes individually. So essentially there's four. Okay, there's, well, there's really five. So there's a workshop with Carolyn. And then there is live trading with Carolyn Broden and myself. All right, so that's workshop one. Um, and that's just, and that's just $197. And that's, we did the live trading today, killed it. It was, it was, it was awesome. There's also workshop two coming up with Henry, and you'll see here that it's workshop, live trading, Bruce, workshop, live trading, Ragi, workshop, live trading. Henry is going to be focusing on a lot of options trading with this, directional options trading. Bruce focuses on income trading with options using this, and then Ragi is going to be doing more futures. Uh, and again, if you're a gold member at this point, it's just $197 for one of the four classes. Okay, two, three, four. And by the way, obviously, if these classes that have already happened, you haven't missed them. Uh, you can just you'll just get the recording, and then with this, essentially, you buy three and you get one for free. So if you're a gold member, um, just you know you want to log in and it's just $197 per workshop, or $597 for all four. And then if you're not a gold member, it's $297 for one, and then $797 for all four. Now here's a hack. You'll see here that if you're not a member yet, just sign up here. It's a $7 trial. And even if you don't want the subscription, just do it. It's seven bucks, and then cancel, and you can save, still save the money. So again, this has had the the I would call it the simplest, biggest impact of anything that we do in terms of a strategy, not just an indicator, but a strategy to apply to the markets that gets you consistent. All right, hope it helps. You guys have a good one, and we'll see you at the next update.